today we're checking out Escape Trailer Industries. It's Canada's version of the Casita. But what's great about it is that there's a 19 foot, a 21 foot, and a fifth wheel on top of the 17 foot. So let's go take a look. Now we're gonna check out the 21 footer. The configuration here is totally different and it's just so spacious. Honestly, it feels a little bit like a palace. So to start with, as soon as you walk in, you have the bathroom and it's a big bathroom. It's probably about the same size as our Casita bathroom. No, maybe not bigger, but it's about the same size as our Casita bathroom and it's right on the right. And it's right beside the permanent bed. And I would estimate that this is a double or a queen. And you have a ton of storage space. Although they don't have the TVs in the models that we've seen, you can get the TV um, hookup so that you can install a TV. And this kitchen is just massive. And I mean, look at the space. Look, look at the space in this hallway. It's, it's, it's just so spacious. So this is the kitchen the mobile kitchen of my dreams. Look at how big it is. So you don't even need a counter extension. You could probably get one as an extra option, but you don't need one because it's, there's so much counter space and a ton of storage. And again, you have your two burner stove here, range hood, and these are the upgrades, the stainless steel. It's a nice deep sink and that's extra counter space there and you have your double burner stove top range hood a lot of people say that they don't like the range hoods it's just in the way and they don't like they don't like how it works but I personally love my range hood and fan in the casita and I wouldn't get rid of it I would keep it definitely and there's a ton of storage space here there's just so much space and here you could put um, micro your microwave. Here's a wardrobe, and just I mean nothing but storage in here. So much storage, which is awesome. And this massive fridge. So you have a separate freezer and fridge, which I didn't think it was possible in this size of a trailer. So that's so cool. Of course, you don't have a bed. Now. More storage down here. And you have a U-shaped dinette in this model. I think that's an extra option though. So normally it should be a regular double dinette for four people. And again, move it side to side. So if you're working or if people need to squeeze by or you had an extra big helping at Thanksgiving dinner and you need more space to get out, you can do that. And of course that turns into a bed too, and I would estimate that that's probably a double bed. A ton of storage. Control center is up here. Air conditioning unit, max fan. I mean, it's awesome. It doesn't get better than this. Although it's awesome, super spacious so much storage this is too much for us <laughs> personally this is just too much for us for our lifestyle and what we want to do and where we want to go it's too big we wouldn't be able to get in into some of the spots that we would like to go such as that place in Zion with the little creek running beside our campsite that was BLM land and with BLM land the spots are usually pretty tight. Sometimes they're bigger, but that particular spot was pretty tight and we wouldn't even want to attempt to bring this one in there. So beautiful, but maybe for later on and not at this stage of our lives.
so many amazing innovations have come out since 2005. As you probably already know, we have a 2005 Liberty Deluxe. And let me tell you, the technology has gotten zoom since then. So we really loved all the trailers, except for the 17, because we realized we would like to have a little bit more space. Do we need it? Absolutely. No. Can we live without it? Yes. But for sure, if, if you're going to dream, we're dreaming luxury. If you want to check out a great, great Canadian molded fiberglass trailer, definitely check out Escape Trailer Industries. They're making great, innovative products.